Hey guys, welcome to Lisk Vlog number six. We are super excited to unpack the month that we've just had. Naturally, we're gonna focus on Lisk Core 1.0, our biggest development milestone to date. But to kick things off, we wanted to introduce you to Rachel, our new tech evangelist, and Yenje, our new community manager. Hi, my name's Rachel. Um, I've moved over to Berlin to join Lightcurve. Gonna be working as a tech evangelist Really excited to be joining the team and uh, evangelize the tech. Hello everyone, my name is Jens Jay. I come from Poland. I start work at Lisk and Lightcurve as a community manager. I love pizza, blockchain and American wrestling. And I hope we will get to know each other better. I'm super happy to be here in Berlin. Hi everyone, we're very excited to have successfully deployed LISCOR 1.0 to the mainnet. This was a huge milestone for us and we're very happy to share it with you. Up next, our developers will break down all the work that was done to make this release happen. Hello, LISC community. I'm proud to officially confirm that our decentralized network was successfully migrated to LISCOR 1.0 on Wednesday the 29th. I'd like to thank everyone involved in helping to make something so amazing happen. DevOps, our backend guys, marketing, exchanges, delegates, and community members. Now, all the exchanges are able to safely resume deposit and withdrawals. At this point, all 101 delegates are forging and securing the network. They showed a great decentralized effort to upgrade their nodes on time. 75% of the existing nodes prior to the migration have migrated to the new network mainnet. More than 8,000 transactions have been successfully sent since then, demonstrating a strong community volume as transactions have not been sent from exchanges. There are no critical issues following the hard fork. It shows a remarkable improvement in our QA and staking phases, and we will continue in the same manner for the upcoming releases. For the future, we are benchmarking our API with real mainnet data, as we realize there are some API endpoints may have to be improved. Core 1.0.2 is in the pipelines and is focusing on the performance of our API. As always, I invite you to go to our GitHub issues and check them out. This Elements is compatible with Core 1.0 and it replaces ListJS, which is the library we had before that was compatible with version 0.9 and before. Every line's been rewritten. We've added a lot of functionality and we've separated all of that functionality into separate modules. We've got a list constants module, which contains things like the net hash for mainnet, which you might need in a bunch of different situations. We've got a cryptography module, so you don't have to worry about implementing those functions yourself. We've got a passphrase module, which will help you with the mnemonic passphrases we recommend. We've got a trans transactions module, so that you can create, sign, and verify transactions locally on your machine. And we've got an API client, which will then take specific amounts of data and send it to the public API of a node on the list network. With the next minor release, we'll be separating all of those modules out into separately installable packages so you can pick and choose exactly what you want. And we've made the code much more developer friendly, cleaner, better naming, so that our community out there will find it easier to engage with Lisk Elements. Hello everyone, we have successfully released version 1.0 of Lisk Commander. Now in Lisk Commander, you can create and sign and broadcast the transactions to the certain nodes. And also you can sign and verify the messages that often used to prove the ownership of the account. And also you can fetch the blockchain information from testnet node and mainnet node using Core 1.0 API. So for the future, we are more focused on delivering the feature for developers and blockchain creators. And for the first step, we are changing the framework for List Commander to increase the user experience. Hi, it's Vid here, the project lead of List Hub. Let's have a look at what we did with Hub in the past month. Version 1.0 is the first major release and a big milestone of List Hub. We started working on this already in July and updated all the functionality to work with new List Core and new List Elements. 
1.0 allows to specify a reference node when transferring LISC tokens. Version 1.1 comes with a new help page which links users to help resources in LISC ecosystem, including LISC Help Center, LISC Academy and LISC Chat. We also updated design of the network switcher on login page and design of active menu item. We are already busy working on the next releases 1.2 and 1.3, so keep an eye on the GitHub of LISC Hub to see the progress in real time and follow LISC blog for release announcement. Hi, my name is Rachel. I've joined LISC as a tech evangelist. Tech Evangelist is a new role here at LISC and one I'm really excited to be taking on. I've got a web development background, but here at LISC I'm going to be acting as the bridge between marketing and development. What does that mean on a day-to-day -day basis? I'm going to be getting involved with loads of stuff, uh, developer updates, technical blogs, attending and speaking at events, and just generally getting as many developers on board with the platform as possible. So many things. Um, it's JavaScript, so it's a language that a lot of us already know, native language of the web open source, so you can go to GitHub, read the code, pull it down, hack at it, get a real feel for what LISC is building. We've got LISC Elements, which is an amazing reusable JavaScript library. Lots of really interesting modules there. And finally, it's just fantastic to be here in Berlin, working with some really exceptional developers on one of the most active code bases in the blockchain space. As the performance marketing lead at Lightcurve, I'm responsible for maximizing LISC's marketing efforts across all communication channels. We formed several assumptions about our target audience, markets, and product messaging that we are validating with quantitative and qualitative research. The community survey is one of many forms that you may encounter. The survey helped us validate three key assumptions. The first one is the current composition of investors, developers, and entrepreneurs in our community. The second one is how we can better target developers and entrepreneurs by understanding their preferred content types and online behaviors. And lastly, understanding the motivations of developers and entrepreneurs for staying engaged with LISC and for building a blockchain application. And now let's get into the results. We had 366 responses, and on average, you rated LISC 7.4 out of 10 in terms of our overall level of transparency. Your favorite videos are the monthly vlog updates. We also saw a lot of interest for more technical product videos, and you'll be happy to know that there are quite a few in the pipeline. When it comes to blog posts, you want to see more development and business updates. Your preferred social media channel is Reddit. And finally, for the question, would you be interested in contributing to the LISC ecosystem? The top responses were promoting LISC in my community, referring LISC to a potential business partner, running a node to secure the network, and building a tool to benefit the community. That's it for the results. You can find our next research initiative on the website soon. Huge thank you to the community for filling out that survey. It's really, really valuable for our team here. I wanted to make a shout out to Duck Tank, who is really engaged in the community at the moment and driving us towards some more stars on GitHub for the LISC Hub team. Uh, E1337 for your weekly updates. Those are an awesome read every week, so keep it up. And Southpaw for all of the work that you did with the Houston meetup. Heard it was a huge success. Make sure you check out the LISC Core landing page. This includes a lot of information, including the transition video and the blog post. That's it for this month. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.